Welcome to the RSVP Northern Virginia podcast, where each week we take a look at some of the outstanding volunteer opportunities available to seniors in our area. I'm Rob Payne, an outreach assistant with RSVP, and today we are joined by RSVP program manager Nadia Hoonan and RSVP volunteer specialist Carly Hubicki. Welcome to another RSVP podcast. Today we have with us Nadia Hoonan. Hello, Nadia. Hey, Rob. It's great to be here. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm the program manager for RSVP. Wonderful. Thank you for being here. And we also have Carly Hubicki. Hello, Carly. Hello. Thanks. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I am the volunteer specialist for RSVP. Excellent. And today uh, we would like to give people a general idea of our wonderful holiday volunteer guide that just came out. Uh, that will has events listed through January. Um, we have more than 30 holiday volunteer opportunities, and it's really the best volunteer catalog for, for senior volunteers. Um, Nadi, could you talk a little bit about the history behind this gift guide? Sure. So the gift guide has actually been around for a couple of years. We started it uh, when we we're looking around at the different volunteer centers and just the amount of uh, need, the, the, the how much need there is in the community during the holiday season. So the purpose behind it is to get our volunteers out there, you know, getting a couple of months into a lot of different opportunities. A lot of people travel around, so it's good to kind of see ahead of what kind of, uh, what kind of service projects there are um, and to get everybody out there and volunteering and giving back more specifically during the holidays. That sounds, that sounds wonderful. Um, Carly, could you talk about some of the specific opportunities available within the guide? Yeah, of course. So like Rob said, there are lots of different volunteer opportunities depending on what you're looking to do, where you're looking to do it. Um, so for example, I'll just go through some of the, the highlights. Um, New Hope Housing has quite a few uh, holiday opportunities. They're located in Alexandria. Um, you know, they have an ongoing op- need for filling a holiday table, so donating um, Thanksgiving and Christmas foods. They also have a program called Adopt a Child where you can um, adopt a child for the holidays and you'll get a wish list and be able to get presents for that child. Um, they also have an Adopt a Single Adult program, which I think is pretty neat. Um, because sometimes that gets forgotten about. Um, but the same thing for that, you get a wish list for that single adult and you're able to shop for them for the holidays. Um, uh, so going on the other side of, of the map in Reston, Cornerstones has a, has a winter coat closet drive that they're holding kind of throughout the holiday season. So they're always looking for coat donations and they're also looking for volunteers to run that coat closet. Um, Let's see what else we got here. We also have, um, with RSVP, we have a couple gift wrapping opportunities to help people wrap their presents before the holidays um, in Tyson's Corner and also in Fair Lakes. Uh, We also have carriage rides in Reston that we need help with. Um, So that's a lot of fun to get out there, get in the holiday spirit. Um, Um, Another cool one is the Burke Lake Park in Fairfax Station is putting together a winter wonderland and they need volunteers to help set up, help run it, and help for the teardown. Um, And then I'll just do one more fun one. Good, good, (laughs) Um, good. Is uh, Wolf Trap is having a holiday sing-along in December and and they're located in Vienna and um, they need volunteers to help kind of tidy up the Feline Center uh, beforehand, and then the volunteers are welcome to stay for the sing-along. That's really fantastic. And uh, Nadia uh, and Carly, you all just met with with, uh, Amanda, the volunteer coordinator, yesterday uh, at at a special meeting we had. Mm -hmm. Um, Is is the need, we we always need volunteers, and, and volunteers are so important. 365 days a year. But is the need for volunteers a little more critical in a time where people are so busy and thinking about gifts and things like that? I, I think so. You know, there's always a need on going throughout the entire year, but I think there's something about the holiday season that really gives people uh, a big jump into giving back. And so we often see a lot of different one-time opportunities pop up during the holidays where people can come out and assist a family in need, uh, groups or an individual, and just uh, volunteering with a specific organization that does a lot of holiday opportunities, which there are so many opportunities all throughout Northern Virginia. That's fantastic. And uh, I understand that 
within all this this busyness and 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 you guys are actually having orientations um carly what are the highlights after november 21st is this podcast is being taped a little bit earlier in november but from the 21st on till the end of the year what type of opportunities if somebody wants to come out and, and take part in an orientation yes of course so we have two orientations scheduled in december uh one in alexandria at the beatley central library and then one in Burke at the Burke Center Library. Uh, we also have Lunch and Learns in December as well. Um, so that's um, also a way for you to get out and learn about you know, the health benefits of volunteering and how you can get signed up. And we have two, actually two of those as well, one in Arlington at the Fairlington Community Center and one in Fairfax at the Providence Community Center. Well, that's really great. And we just found out yesterday uh, Innova helps us sponsor those Lunch and Learns uh, health programs, and they're actually going to have uh, folk from with their PACE program mm -hmm. speak right. on specifically on, on how healthy volunteers, and we're really excited to, mm -hmm. to have that. It'll be either at one or both of those December Lunch and Learns the one in, in uh, Vienna and, and, and the other one. Um, Nadi, what, what is, you know, people volunteer, they want to help, they, they talk about the need, but what is the actual impact of volunteers during, again, especially this, this type of year? That's a great year? question. And I think we could, you know, talk about this for hours with mm -hmm. just the general impact that volunteers have in the community. But just to name a couple of impacts, you know, specifically with our holiday guides, uh, as Carly mentioned, we do work with uh, Cornerstones in Reston and doing a lot of uh, recruitment for their coat closet drive. So Cornerstone helps thousands of people on a yearly basis. I'm sure it's much more than just a thousand, <laughs> right? And so when volunteers come out and they take part in a shift in collecting the or sorting the, the coats, they go through several hundred coats in just one day. So if you can think about all of those different opportunities opportunities throughout the holiday season that they have you know that's a thousand people that are being impacted within that uh, now down in the route one corridor with united community ministries they they also assist in feeding hundreds of children and families and volunteers can come in and assist with their food pantries and their farmers markets that they have New Hope Housing as well is one of the biggest uh, organizations that we partner with that has those ongoing opportunities throughout the entire winter season. And they they help several hundred clients uh, as well during the holiday season. So, you know, just to give you a couple of ideas of how one person or just a small group of volunteers can make an impact in our community. That's great. And during one of our other podcasts, we, we talked with um, Danica, who's a volunteer coordinator down at um, United um, Community Ministries. And I think she mentioned that there's something like, I want to say 76,000 people in this county, in Fairfax County alone, mm -hmm. uh, that are, I, I think the term is at risk, food at risk, mm -hmm. or, and and um, at least a third of those are children. So there there's, despite what people like we're such a prosperous county but there is really really a need for help and 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 these organizations do a fantastic job um now carly can if if uh, volunteers are so ambitious can they sign up for more than than one opportunity and how uh how would they sign up and if they don't have a holiday guide yet how can they get one or where can they find one yes of course um so yes you are more than welcome to sign up for as many of these volunteer opportunities that you're able to do. Um, all of the information is in this holiday guide, so there's sign-up links right in there for, you know, if you're looking to do that. Also, there should be contact information for each um, each opportunity, so there should be an email in there to, to contact someone. Also, I'm a resource as well, so if you had any questions, you could always email the RSVP at volunteerfairfax.org with any questions. Um, also, so the holiday guide ha was emailed out, but we will be posting it on our website later this right. week. Um, so the link will be right on there for, for people to check it out. Great. And is that list set in stone or is it possible that there may be additions to that? Or is every is it that is that it? Not that there's not enough there, but, but no, I'm just wondering if, if yeah. people want to check back. Like, for are now, there, I think it's pretty It's pretty, pretty set. set. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Um, Nadia, we sort of touched on this just briefly a little bit before, but the holidays can be a lonely time for a lot of people, especially older folks, uh, both seniors and some of the clients that are served by some of the fantastic organizations that we support. Um, how can being part of this holiday guide project help sort of combat holiday loneliness? 
Well, I think it's very important to note that when you're volunteering, a lot of those opportunities have direct client contact or you're volunteering with another volunteer as well. And so you get that social aspect of it right away, which Mm -hmm. makes you feel much greater because you're giving back and you also have the opportunity to talk to somebody who is interested in the same things that you're interested in. And I think it's really important to note those social opportunities too and in uh, giving back with, you know, direct client contact or just uh, companionship opportunities where you're also assisting in a client receiving social aspects that can make them feel less lonely as well. Wonderful, mm-hmm. wonderful. And and some of our lunch and learns in particular, I think some of the ones we've had recently really give our new volunteers an opportunity to talk with old right. volunteers or more experienced and it's, it's, it's a lot of good give and take. Uh, and Carly, one more time, if uh, somebody wants to find out more about RSVP, where should they go? Yes, they should go to our website, RSVP Nova, so that's N O V A dot org. Um, and like I said, you can always email me with any questions at RSVP at volunteerfairfax dot org. Wonderful. And we also have a face, we're on Facebook, RSVP Northern Virginia, and uh, in the next. By the time this podcast is out, we'll also be on Twitter. So for those of you who tweet uh, (laughs) early in the morning or late at night or whenever people do that, uh, please, please be sure to to follow us. And and if you see something you like on the Facebook page from us and you think somebody else might be interested in it, one of your other friends who is 55 or over, please be sure to to share that information. Really, we're really trying to get the word out. We, We want every senior in Fairfax County and Alexandria and Arlington to know that this wonderful opportunity exists. Um, so thank you very much for your time today and uh, we'll talk Mm -hmm. again thanks a lot thank you thank you for joining us today on the RSVP Northern Virginia podcast for Carly Hudicki and Nadia Hoonan this is Rob Payne saying thanks and have a great day remember RSVP Northern Virginia matching great senior volunteers with great opportunities for more information please visit our website at www.rsvpnova.org. Have a great day.